So this is a part of the prophecy. Uh, when our government starts tripping and which is happening right now, as you all can see, um, in the prophecy, uh, Celestia talks about uh, the Proud Boys, but but I don't. It's not like the talking about the. I think there's a group called the Proud Boys. This is talking about our patriots, the people who would ride or literally ride or die for this country. <clears throat> but you should know. You should know they 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 will have some good scrimmages. Um, but you should know that um, ultimately we are going to lose this battle for a few reasons. Uh, one, because God is not with us. And I know I just lost a handful of people, but um, you need to hear these things, whether you believe it or not. God is not with us because we have been weighed in judgment as Babylon. And God, it, this is a part of God's judgment. You have to understand that this is a part of God's judgment. So God is not with us. So ultimately we will lose, we will lose all of our battles. We will lose uh, uh, the battles of uh, these, because <clears throat> civil war, obviously we, we've lost because we're fighting against each other or however they set it up. We're gonna lose against um, uh, Putin and uh, China. Um, cause God, it just, just as when, um, God had the Philistines reserved for Israel every time they sin, it's the very same thing. Um, but this is going to be our destruction because if you understand, uh, what, what Babylon is and scripturally, uh, Babylon is obliterated. Okay. So, uh, this is a part of it. Um, this is what we're seeing. This is what we're seeing in the news. Um, and eventually Babylon will not exist. Now, obviously this is going to take some time, but then again, we don't know, uh, because look how fast this stuff is popping up. If you, if you guys, um, have been, um, following the prophecies, this stuff is, is popping off and they are ushering in the B system. Okay. So, um, because what's going to happen is things are going to get so crazy that people are going to cry out and I'll cry out is for God, but since most people don't worship him in spirit and in truth, even the so-called people that call themselves Christians, um, they're going to be looking for a savior. And then this is when the antichrist will come in and say, Hey guys, I got the solution. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to help you out. And it's going to sound real good. It's going to be like, oh, we need it because we're tired. People are 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 dying. People are, um, it's just gonna, like, there's going to be famine. There's going to be plagues. It's just going to be, it's like, it's going to be horrible. So people uh, sh that should be reserving that praise out to God, which some people will turn to God. Some people will. Uh, majority of the people will be crying out to, for someone to help them and this and then enters the Antichrist. So um, this is a part of the prophecy, uh, uh, biblically, and the recent prophecy that God has given us that people are denying, but you know, to each his own. We gotta live our own lives. Um, but me as someone who is following the prophecy and have been have watched every last single video, it's so clear to me. Everything is just hap Everything is happening as uh god yah has told us through his prophet prophetess so yeah just want to throw that out there for anyone who has ears to hear um i i mean it's good to know these outcomes it's good to know so like i mean, I mean if you want to die for this country you know godspeed um uh, but you should know what's happening so you can have an idea of like so you can make the best decisions you know we're not gonna win we're gonna have some like you know there's gonna be some moments where we're gonna be like whoa that was cool and uh go team usa for some people although um so uh, yeah we'll have some moments but ultimately we're gonna lose this one because god is not with us because of our sins because of the sins that we refuse to talk about because of the pedophilia the homosexuality the um all these are abomination against a holy god and we have been weighed in the balance and been found guilty. And there is no turning back. God, there's no, 
there's no repentance for us because we've had opportunities. And even if for those people who are like, who who are crying and screaming at me right now, even if there was, uh, the whole nation would have to repent. And do you honestly see the whole nation of the United States of America repenting? So, um, yeah, cause we can't even, we can't even agree on who his true prophet is. So let alone coming together to repent. I mean, so anyway, um, so yeah, so just throwing that out there. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. <laughs>